Hello, everybody. Trisky here. Uh, I decided to start playing this. Well, now you have to determine the ID of your vault. Choose carefully, because once you ch select an ID, it cannot be changed. 369. Vault 369. Because I like factors. I like multiples of three, okay? Deal with it. It's, 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 shut up. Okay. Congratulations, Vault Tech has selected you to be the Overseer of Vault 369. The Vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the Wasteland. As Overseer, your job is to expand and maintain the Vault while keeping your dwellers safe and happy. Each room has a special attribute it uses. Assign dwellers with the best special to make them happy and produce extra resources. Vault Tech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy and do a great job. Alright, I just had a couple of hiccups where apparently I had an insult something that was necessary for playing this game. But we're back and everything's dandy. Helpful hint! Welcome to your new vault, Overseer. Let's introduce you to the basic concepts. First, let's build a room. Tap on the hammer icon to open the build menu. We'll build a power generator. Shut up, cell phone. We'll build a power generator that will pr produce power. There, God! We'll build a power generator that will produce power. Tap on the power room. Rooms require power to function. Tap again to confirm. Build zones are where you can build rooms. Confirm the location by tapping the build zone. I'll be setting it about here. Now we need dwellers to make the power generator to produce power. Look! New dwellers have shown up at the vault door. Look at the stats of a dweller. Tap a dweller to see their- Tap a d -d dweller to see their info. You can see the dweller's special stats. This info tells you where a dweller can be most used effectively. To assign a dweller, tap and hold on a dweller, and then drag them to a room. Try assigning this dweller to the power generator room you just built. Now that dwellers are working, the room will start producing resources. Double tap on a room to take a closer look. Stephanie and George. If you are in dire need of extra resources, you can use the rush mode. Tap on the rush button to open the rush menu. Great! You successfully completed your first rush and collected caps. I want good perception for this room. You have a great perception. You're gonna work in there. Oh. Hello. Need more dwellers for your vault? Try assigning dwellers to the living quarters and see if magic happens. Nobody really has any charisma. I don't think we can have lesbian couples, but I could damn well try if I didn't give a shit. Level up one dweller. Excellent. You? Uh, Mr... You've just earned a lunchbox. Tap the lunchbox icon in the Pip-Boy menu to open your lunchbox or purchase additional lunchboxes. Alright, you, Emily, are going to explore. Make sure you equip your dwellers before sending them out to the wasteland. This will increase their chance of survival. You can equip items and weapons and use right away instant packs from the dweller information panel by tapping on the So I have a lunchbox. Unlock here. Look at Initiate rope. Power. And more caps, and even more caps. Nice. You, my friend. You. You. You need a, you need a little bit of a charisma boost. So you're gonna get that. Oh, another lunchbox. I got a lunchbox from using the thing I got from a lunchbox. Alright, stim pack. A uh, junior officer uniform. More caps. And a greaser outfit! Oh, the tunnel snakes are out, son! We could have two more people to work here. Oh, funny. I guess the initiate robe helped him uh, get a little bit of happy time. Lucky guy. Alright. Endurance. Strength. Hey, uh, you can help out there, at least. Oh, we got a waiting mother. Charisma and intelligence. You're gonna be a charismatic and intelligent mother. I demand this. 
Alright, let's give this a shot. Let you rush him up. Successfully rush the room. Yes, excellent. I got a new, I got a new uh, guy here. Alright, let's see what we got in this lunchbox. We got a, a BB gun. Some rat away. More caps. And a lot more caps. I'm probably actually going to uh, set up a new elevator and set up another floor and then set up our jet power generator area down here. Water treatment. Ah, this is why it pays the planet first. But I wasn't really expecting the whole you can uh, have multiple rooms right next to each other kind of thing. How are you doing? You gotta be able to protect your baby. Oh, we produce some food. Wait, the 25 caps from producing food. I already did it, but I guess I have to do it again. Oh, who are you? Eugene Foster is intelligent. Do you have anybody who's doing better with, like, general charisma? Any guys that have better charisma in general? We have girls. We have lots of girls with charisma. And other guys seem to be really charismatic in our place. Well, 369 is not the most charismatic location to live. Roger Hicks, I want you to get lucky. So there, enjoy. Ah, he's getting a schmooze on! What would I do without you? Well, you're still technically wearing that outfit even though you're not. So, uh, you're gonna keep it because I want you to be a strong, intelligent, charismatic black woman who don't need no man. Yeet. Wee! I get butterflies whenever we're together. Ah, oh, you got lucky! You, Roger Hicks, you got lucky, son. Mush on through. What do you think would make the scariest mutated animal? Oh, that's easy. A hippo. Definitely a hippo. I actually don't know what to think about that, honestly. I'm not sure whether to be scared at the idea of a hippo uh, being mutated into some evil... DC. Room, a little bit of companionship. Wow, we collected 50 water and got a, got one of these. So we got another Vault Tech Lunchbox. What do we got? More caps. Nightwear. Ooh, charisma. Naughty nightwear. More power. And a lot more caps. Oh no, jeez. You guys are having some trouble. Yeah, you get up there and help them out. Oh, you averted catastrophe. Excellent. Excellent job. Eugene, Gregory, and Roger. You, you, my friend, Roger Hicks, you are a lucky son of a bitch, you know that? And I think we're in a situation where we can actually do this. Oh, I gained stuff back. Okay, that, that answers it. Alright, you're gonna head back, because I don't want to have you run into like a billion more Yao Guai. Roger Hicks is 100% satisfied. Well, you, my friend, you feel a sense of bliss, but you, you deserve, you deserve to feel good about yourself. You know why? Because you get, you had a lovely relationship, you got a wife and you had some fun, and now you're back to working at the diner. Yeah, it would fall apart without you. Roger Hicks, you are literally the poster of 369. Vault 369 would not exist without Roger Hicks. If Roger Hicks ever dies, this this entire vault is just gonna I'm just gonna like burn it. Burn it to the ground. That's it. That's all you'll get. Burned vault, Tiffy's. 
We'll go say hi to these guys. If it were safe to leave the vault and live on the outside, would you ever want to? Nope, never. I love living in the vault. This is my home and always will be. Yeah, you better fucking say I feel like a horrible vault people from previous games. What does this one do again? A. A is useful for this. L is useful as well, but you can grab that. Roger Hicks deserves it more, actually. Gregory, you're gonna give it up for Roger Hicks. Roger Hicks deserves the greaser outfit more. He's gonna be the he's gonna be the tunnel snakes of the uh, Vault 369. Ah, you're back. Well, Roger Hicks, you're gonna have some fun. Roger Hicks will rule this entire fucking place! He would have all the children! Roger and Sandra. Roger Hicks! He would rule the world! Oh, he's so sweet! Yes, he is! You can see that smile, that shitty death smile! <laughs> Ah, he's got to do so great in this line of work. Completely drawn to you. Yeah, buddy! Roger Hicks is putting on more of the move. <laughs> okay, so, on the fifth day of the seventh year, on the fourth month, I was drinking milk in my bathroom. He's obviously a tea kid. <laughs>